So if you will look at what we have here, this is just going to be real quick because these up here, this is all just a review of the ones that you already have in your notes in another place. This was just already printed, so I thought I'd go ahead and just give it to you again. It's another place where they're kind of all in there. But that's been on two different things of notes that we've had. But I do want to look at the bottom down here for sure and talk about these. Oops. There we go. So solving, we're going to be solving the log equations. And so it is an application of all of these different things that we'll talk through. But you need to be, make sure that you understand what the basic log function looks like. All right, so the parent function for a log, where is my asymptote? My asymptote, x equals 0, so it's this, and I don't have another colored pen, so it's, it's the y-axis, so it's x equals 0. So then it always goes through 1, 0, and if b is greater than 1, then it looks like this. If b is less than 1, then it's a reflection in the x-axis, and it comes down like this. So maybe we'll do a second one, just to make sure that we understand. But either way, either way, oh, sorry, is my domain the same? Yes, my asymptote is the same and my domain is the same. So that's kind of the most important part of, of what we're looking at right here. So the domain of log functions, y equals log base b of x, which b could be greater than 1 or less than 1, but can't be 0 or negative. What is my domain? 0 to infinity. And that's important to understand because when we solve them, the answers we get don't necessarily always work, right? And the ones that don't work are called what? Extraneous, right here extraneous solutions. So that means that you have to substitute answer back in. Answer back in and check. Okay, you've got to check that you make sure that you get something that is legal. Because if you're going to have to take the log of a negative number once you plug your x back in that you found or whatever variable it is, then that's an extraneous solution. It doesn't work, right? Because it doesn't fit in that domain. And you're, depending on what all's going on in there, you know, whether it's x minus 1 or, you know, 2 times log base b of x, then that change, that can change your domain and your range and stuff, right? So, yes, you can kind of look at it and understand what's happening, but if that gets you all confused, it's better just to plug it in and make sure it works because we don't always think through those right. Okay, so the log properties, which are on this page and on a couple of pages of your notes, use them. That's why we did them. And then we should know that if log base b of m equals n, then the exponential form is b to the what? n equals n. And then we've got these two logs. If there's no base on a log where it's actually using the word log, then what is the base? 10. The natural log, what is the base? E. And so this is called the what base? You know? Yeah, <laughs> this is the common base and the natural base. So this has the properties mostly all in one place instead of separated on a couple of other things. So I wouldn't, glue, I wouldn't glue it in yet because we're going to write in your ISN, and then um, this will be on the opposite page, and you'd be flipping back and forth or might have wet glue on the other side. So, All right, so just hang on to that. Keep it handy, and then we are going to do a couple of examples, but we're just going to write, write in your ISN. Oh, dang it. That's just what I was going to look at, and I hit the wrong thing. Let's see. It goes on. Then that, then that one goes on 89. That, so that'll go on 89. You can write 89. We're going to write on 90. So go to page 90. And we're just going to do a couple of examples. So we're just going to do two because it's the same stuff you've been doing. It's just that you're now actually solving an equation and having to check it. 
All right, so we are going to start with log base 2 of 5 equals log base 2 of 10 minus log base 2 of x minus 4. Okay, so what we want to get to is to have the log with the same base on either side, but just a single log on either side. That's why we did the expanding and the condensing. So on the left, I'm good. I just have one log, so this will just remain log base 2 of 5. And then over here, these two have the same base, and I'm subtracting. So when I condense them, what do I do? Divide. So this is going to give me log base 2 of 10 over x minus 4. Everybody with me? And then we have a property that says if log base b of m equals log base b of n, then m and n equal each other, right? So now that they match, I know that I can just move on to 5 equals 10 over x minus 4. And I'm just solving for x, right? So I can multiply both sides by x minus 4. That'll give me 5 times x minus 4 over here. That's equal to 10. Make sure that you don't make a oh, that you don't make a silly mistake and oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Every time I talk to myself, I do that. <laughs> I keep getting new pins because I keep dropping them. <laughs> this is 5x minus 20. I know you know to distribute, make sure you actually do it. That means that 5x equals 30 and x equals 6. So when you get this. Hey, we're not done. We have to plug it back in or substitute it back in, but you do not have to work the whole thing out. Okay, you just have to substitute it back in and make sure that what you get is legal. So I've got log base 2 of 5 would equal log base 2 of 10 minus log base 2 of 6 minus 4. So when I do that, this is fine and this is fine because there's no variables. 6 minus 4, does that give me log of a positive? Yes. So then I'm good, and this works, and this is my answer. Okay. Everybody okay with that? Good. All right. So then, let's do number 2. So number 2 is going to be the natural log of 7x plus 3 minus the natural log of x plus 1 equals the natural log of 2x. So I need to condense what I have. These are both the natural logs. So since I'm subtracting, again, what am I doing? Dividing. So the natural log of 7x plus 3 over x plus 1 equals the natural log of 2x. Are you with me? Okay, so I have a single log on each side, which means I know that 7x plus 3 over x plus 1 equals 2x. So now this is going to give me 7x plus 3 equals 2x times x plus 1. computer just being weird here for some reason. 7x plus 3 equals 2x squared plus 2x. So what kind of equation do I have? Quadratic, so I need to move everything to one side and factor. It'll be the easiest way to do that. So 0 equals 2x squared, so that 2x minus 7x is minus 5x, and then minus 3. So when I factor this, I know in this case it's going to have to have a 2x and an x. And then I'm going to need two numbers that multiply to give me the negative 6 and combine to give me the negative 5. So 3 and 2, right? Or 3 and um, 1. So, well, it's 3 and 2 that gives me that, but yeah, it's 3 and 1 that actually goes in here. 
So one, and this would be my three, so that way I get my two and my three. Which one's negative? Three. Is that right? So three goes on the other side. Me too. No wonder it won't. There we go. I know how to factor. <laughs> We're all good? Does that work? Okay, so then I get that 2x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. So x equals 3, x equals negative 1 half, right? So this is part of my solution set, solution set but I have to check them. So i got to check the 3 and the negative 1 half. So when I come up here, I get the natural log of 7 times 3 plus 3 minus the natural log of 3 plus 1 equals the natural log of 2 times 3. So is all that going to be okay inside there, what I'm taking the logs of? Positive, 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 and not 0. We're good? So the 3 works. Then I do the, so this one is good. So then I'm going to take the natural log of 7 times negative 1 half plus 3 minus the natural log of negative 1 half plus 1 equals the natural log of 2 times a negative 1 half. So here, this, this is going to be a negative 3 half, uh, negative 3.5 plus 3, so this is negative right here, right? This is positive, and this is negative. But even one negative is a bad thing, right? Can't take the natural log of a negative number. So that means this one doesn't work, so this is not one of my answers. So my answer is just 3. This one is, what's it called? Extraneous. Extraneous. Any questions? Same properties you've been doing. So if you've been able to do the rest, you're just kind of combining everything together. We all good? Okay. So on um, the other one, you can go ahead and glue that.